that kind of thinking to our driving here, then, well, nothing would get done. But I'm curious, how's the weather for you guys today? Or whenever you see the video. I mean, this, as I said, middle of March, this is really nothing nothing that unusual to have this kind of weather up here um, and I kind of jinxed myself uh, because it seems like every time it gets a little bit warmer and I'm like yeah it could be warm enough so I need my rubber boots actually on a lease because it could get a little bit uh, a little bit nasty Well, that's usually when it, uh, it starts snowing, so here we are. And I'm usually in this kind of weather, I mean, you know, it's, it's uh, 90 is a good, good speed. And pickup trucks will still pass you. Wow, 95 or 100, I, I can go 100 here with no problem. There is no, uh, there is no real um, twisty turn coming up for a long time. It's just this highway is uh, sometimes very hilly, and this is an actual highway. I mean, you can kind of see the the median, the yellow center line. Um, every now and again you can see it. You can definitely hear it if you drive on it, because then you have the famous nah, 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 nah. Me and my sound effect. Except for that one truck that we've seen, uh, and before that, those two cars. There's definitely not much going on today on the highway. See, the interesting part is only, especially if you haul fluid and you come up to a hill. Um, you really want to shift with the fluid, like as the truck slows down, the fluid will still slosh and if you time your shift just right, then you can just, when that slosh kind of quote unquote hits you, you can just use that little bit of momentum and you can shift that. also about a couple of other things here besides the fact that yeah I wanted to finally make it oh it's gonna be bumpy bump 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 uh, yeah. um, actually well I'm not gonna make a video when I come back but uh, on the way back there is a couple of bumps that are really bad like bad to the point where I know a guy that drove that highway at night and I guess he was a little bit in a hurry too and he hit one of those bumps at a hundred his truck actually the front lifted off came crashing back down and he ended up in the ditch because uh, yeah it completely messed up the steering but uh, yeah, broke, broke one knuckle but uh, I wanted to also talk to you guys about uh, the future of my channel. You might notice the lack of content. Well, um, I said that in another video. I'm now a truck driver, and I'm a truck driver first. Um, I still make videos every now and again, but I just can't be as as uh, 
as consistent as I used to be. I'm still working on getting that other camera kind of fixed up um, with a more stable bracket so that you have a little bit of a better view and not only my iPhone and that, that's another thing I never know how long actually the video will last um, it's, it's, it's a crap shoot Hopefully, uh, this video was recorded in its entirety, but uh, yeah, I think I might have had to cut, depending on if this video started kind of weird for you guys, uh, in terms of it was kind of almost like I was in the middle of, of something that I had to cut the first part out because I didn't realize that I had my sun visor pointed too high. So it's possible that the first little bit of the video is just well, essentially the outer sun visor. Um, but yeah, that's something we have to wait on. A lot of people ask me if I am still doing anything GTA, and I'm not. When I come home, I usually sit down. Well, if I'm not too late anyway. I say goodnight to the kids, because they are usually in bed already by the time I get home. Um, I'll eat something. And then I'll sit down with Ness and watch a show. Which, if I say we sit down and watch a show, there's only one show that we watch anymore. If you can believe that. And that show is The Office. Well, that's not true. There's a couple of others, but the main, the main time, or the 90% of the time, when. Uh, When we say we sit down and watch a show, it's the office. Oh boy. Not much fun. Oh, the snow. And then, of course, I'm fully loaded today. 36 tons of diesel. Or, well, not 36 tons, that's a lie. Uh, 36,000 liters of diesel. Diesel is uh, 8.5 roughly. But yeah, it's uh, it's a lot.
also don't want to be too slow because if you don't if you don't grab gears here where it's a little bit straight, like where it's right here, um, and the next hill comes, well you might as well just drop into the basement and, and idle up the hill. So it's always we have to always find that balance. That takes a little bit. If you are a brand new driver, don't beat yourself up. It takes a little bit to get used to it, and, and then it gets used to it if you ever change trucks. You have to relearn it all. And uh, if you change loads, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but the fan just kicked in. And it is not that warm outside actually. So that just shows you that the truck is really working here, these rolling hills. 